We do need this to cut out the top. So I'm using one yard and 15 inches to cut out this top. It's a cut together with the sleeve. It does an adjustment at both sides of this. At both sides, you can release the hole. You can as well tight the hole. You can see it on the thumbnail. So that is what we'll be cutting out here. I'll be folding this into four. This is into two, as you can see, then into four. So the first thing we're going to take the measurement of here is the length. This the length of the top. The length of the, our top here is going to be 28 inches. This is with the same allowance. This is with the same allowance. This is the length of the top here. Then from here, we're going to take our shoulder slant. The shoulder slant of one inch. Shoulder slant of one inch here. Then from here, from here, from the center of the back and front, you're going to take the slip length. The slip length with the same allowance, I'll be taking, I'll be making use of 23 inches with the same allowance. You can see. Then from here, I'll be taking the ammo measurement. It's a cut together with the sleeve, so I'll be using nine inches. This is 9 inches since it's cut together with the sleeve. The normal arm measurement for this measurement is 8 inches. But since it's cut together, I'm using 9 inches. So from here now, from this 9 inches, the arm measurement will be taking our bust measurement. Our bust measurement is going to be... So this is 9 inches from the arm... Since this is 9 inches... From the shoulder slant so if you come to this area you'll be taking 10 inches one inch has been deducted from this area so that is what we are adding back to the side to give us the exact measurement we are looking up to so the bust measurement is going to be 44 inches. This is with the same allowance, which is the same thing as sewing allowance. So I'm going to make a, a straight line to this area. A straight line to this point. Then we are going to use the exact 11 inches at this down point. That part too. The down part, we are using exact 11 inches. Then from this area to this area, I'm going to connect them together. Then to make a curve shape as this damper, this is what we are going to do. We are going to deduct one inch from this area. Then from this one inch, we are going to curve it down to this 28 inch. So this is now the shape. You can see this is the shape. So the nice thing that I mean here is to cut it out before cutting the neckline. So, this is now after cutting it out, you can see. So, the next thing that I want to cut out here is the neckline. This neckline is not constant. You can make use of any neckline of your choice. But here, yeah, I'll be making use of the wideness of 3.5 inches. The deepness is going to be 2 inches at the front, at the back. Going to be two inches at the back, then I'll be connecting them together like this. So after cutting it out this way, I'm going to take one away, then I'm going to dip this one by one inch, so as to so as so as to make the front neck lower than the back neck. So the front neck is now lower than the back neck, as you can see. So since the roundness of the ammo is not is not the same thing as the roundness of the elbow, so we have to deduct it. The roundness of the elbow here is six inches. So I'll make use of half inch of seam allowance to make it six point five inches. So this is where my six point five inches is. Then I'm going to slant it down to this area. So after starting it this way, I'm going to cut it out. So, this is now the shape of the top. So, let me go. This is the area. If you want to join it now. After joining the two shoulders together, then you take your 
measurement of the of the body when you take the measurement of the body finish when you're through with the taking of the measurement of the body then you come up from this area from the down part here you take a measurement of take a measurement of 12 inches let me notch it out this is where the the rope is going to reach before you can adjust it you can see i've notched it so by tape when you tape it in this is where you, then you're going to put your rope through the allowance that you use to hold it you're going to put your rope through the allowance that you use to hold it so i'm going to show you all that let me go and do the stitching then show you how i join it with all the stitches the first stitching you want to join this particular stop the first stitching is going to be the two shoulders when you're done with the two shoulders the next thing you're going to do is to save the the band here at the elbow after after taping the two band the next thing is to join into the length of the top and you can see the way I attached this row at this area when I was stitching it I showed it to you the way to put this in these two sides and this is the benefit of it you can adjust it this way you can release it you can make it a normal top and you can as well you can as well fold it up like this you can see the beauty part of this tie to make this shape comes out you can see the shape that it gives the top now so if you are new to my channel please at the end of this class make sure to subscribe to it and for those who have already subscribed i really appreciate you guys for watching my video always see my next tutorial bye